For the sign of Libra, hello and welcome to my channel. We got this Wheel of Fortune and it's with the Ace of Cups. Wow. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. This card, it reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. If for some reason you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else changes. So live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. But that's even okay. Roll with any changes and think positive. So, you got some good fortune here, Libras, coming up in June. Really good fortune. And I say really good because it's paired with the Ace of Cups. Because the Ace of Cups is a very powerful card in the tarot. It's about love, happiness, and affection. Like all the Aces, it's about new beginnings. And it usually means love, but it can mean new. It can it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So things are looking up. They'll start to look up, and people will respond to you with love, happiness, and goodwill more than usually. So you'll be feeling good about life in general. And this will be a great time to make friends. That's what the Ace of Cups is about. Now, if you're in a relationship, it turns for the better. Yeah. If you're already committed. It takes a turn for the better. That's good news, right? The Wheel of Fortune. You're, you're, in a, you're going to be in a phase coming up in June where you're going to have a lot of good fortune. Okay, and new beginnings. Beautiful new beginnings. A lot of happiness, love, and affection. You could be meeting someone new. Or, like I said, if you're with someone, it takes a turn for the better if it's not, if it's not already good. So, we'll move on over for now. And we'll take a look at how your person that you're dealing with how they see you. They see you like the High Priestess in the Page of Wands. Now the High Priestess can be a spiritual card. It could have some sexual overtones. It can mean that you're in a phase where you're much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity, to inspiration. It's a time to rely on your intuition rather than your inner knowledge. Yeah, it's a time to re rely on your intuition. I'm sorry. Your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. So it's important to pay attention to your dreams now. Keeping a dream diary or a journal is going to be a good idea. So they see you as... They can see you as... The High Priestess is secretive. Or like they keep secrets or they're mysterious. Yeah, you see there's no... The High Priestess, you, know, you see the picture of the card? Uh, the card that says it's right above they see you. That's the High Priestess. There's no face. There's a blank face on that High Priestess. Um, the High Priestess, uh, she has her boobies out. Kind of like out. Not out, but, you know, out so you can see that she's got boobies. So people are attracted to this mysterious person. Um, they see you as sitting really pretty. They see you as someone that they're, they're very attracted to. Yeah. They're drawn to you. Mm-hmm. With the High Priestess here. Yeah. Very attract, attracted to you. That's how they see you. Um, they see you as... Um, the Page of Wands also. Now the Page of Wands... It's... It comes with the warmth... People are warm, ambitious, high achievers with the Page of Wands. If this is not a person, the Page of Wands, it indicates energy of easy 
distraction. So try to stay focused because this card, it's showing that you could be starting something and it starts to come to fruition. If you started something in the past, it comes to life. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. It brings a positive energy, but you have to supply the follow-through, which can be hard. It can be difficult because there's easy distraction with this page of wands. So this is also how they see you. They see you wanting to continue to explore this connection. They, they could see you as excited about them. And when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's a student, that's youth. This could be someone younger than you. Uh, it could mean immaturity. So they could see you as a little bit immature, so that could be why they find you hard to stay, hard to have um, focused energy. But they do see you as excited about this connection, and because it's with the high priestess, they could see you. They could see you as very attractive, or it could go the other way around. They could see you as being really attracted to them. Yeah, it could go either way with this high priestess. Or it could be that there's a lot of attraction, a lot of chemistry in this connection. But with the Page of Wands, um, there's a lot of passion there too. The Page of Wands is about passion. But you get distracted easy because, like I said, the Page is a student maybe a little immature but the passion is there yeah they see you as very passionate about them or it's a passionate connection with a lot of attraction beautiful Libras. so let's take a look at how you see them so you see them as the Ace of Pentacles and Lovers. So Ace of Pentacles, here here we go again. It's about a new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings on several levels. So they're very positive new beginnings. So you're likely to be feeling optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. You got two Aces here. We talked about the Ace of Cups and now we got the Ace of Pentacles. Things will be going well with this pinnacle card. You could be starting something new very soon. And it's a good thing, either way, work or personally. If you're in a relationship, it goes to new heights, the next level. You two will reconnect. So, you got some great new beginnings here. It's all throughout the reading, Libra. So, you see them wanting to start a new beginning with you or reconnect um, in a better way to take it to the next level that's how you see them and it's with the lover's card beautiful lover's card it's associated with the astrological sign of Gemini the twins so you could be feeling ambivalent about a relationship or situation it could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your, head is and your head is telling you another. The thing to do is within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart when you get the lover's card. That's what it's saying. Follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that any of us operate under at a time and that's either fear or love. But it's saying choose love. At this time it's safe to choose love. Because you got the lover's card here. Um, this card, it usually means that it's a time um, that love in capital letters is brought to the center stage of your life. So it looks like you see them as a great love. You could be falling in love with this person. That's what the lover's card is about. There's a union. There's a coming together. It's a partnership, a deep love. 
that's how you see them and it feels like a great new beginning here with the ace of pentacles or it could start to feel this way coming up in june so that's beautiful wow i like the way you two see each other so let's take a look at why it's happening though so we got the hermit card in the tower now the hermit card it can be a spiritual card it could have something to do with institutions large organizations anything from a bank to a entire christian church it could be in the frame of mind that you need some time alone don't hesitate to take it even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head also this card could be about trying to do the right thing trying very hard to do the right thing but just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others so it looks like somebody needs to clear their mind get rid of some baggage here somebody could be wanting some time alone and it's shown it's because of this tower card okay the tower card it's about trying to, to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. You have to roll with the changes. It's likely that some people's situations that you had counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. And this doesn't have to be drastic because change. It's the nature of life. And if we try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down to earth. That's only a problem if you let it be. You'll be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals. If some fantasies fall apart this month. Just keep in mind, dreaming is important, but it's important to be living in a reality too. That's interesting. So someone wants some time alone. Something comes crashing down. Something is different. Something is no longer the same way as it once was. But you got to roll with the changes though. So it's a time for damage control in a situation or with your person. Yeah, if you don't want to see it fall apart. It's time, time for damage control. Uh, you could be enlightened, enlightened by some, some disaster that happens in this connection. And you just want some time. You're in the frame of mind where you want some time alone. Just to get rid of some baggage and clear your head. Wow. Okay, so just to recap this reading. Because you got the Wheel of Fortune here for the present time, and you have the Tower card and this Hermit card, just know that whatever happened, maybe you guys had a fight, came to a disagreement, you and your person, now they want some time to clear their head. This could be you or them. Just, just know you got the Wheel of Fortune in your reading. So it doesn't stay this this upset or disturbance that happens, it doesn't last for long. The will is changing. So you got good fortune on your side in this reading. So like most relationships, they have difficulties. Things feel like they come apart, something happens. So it looks like that's what happened. You probably just had a fight falling out or you can expect something like that to to happen coming up in June. You just need to clear your head. You or your person. And that's, that's what it looks like you, you or your person will be doing. And then the will turns. The will turns. You got good fortune on your side. So whatever happened, it doesn't stay. It doesn't, whatever came crashing down doesn't, it, it picks itself right back up. Put it that way with this Wheel of Fortune here. So it doesn't stay down for long. So you rebuild a new castle right away. And you got these two aces in your reading. 
So a lot of great new beginnings for you, Libra, and your person. Great new beginnings. And the Ace of Cups is, a, is about a lot of love. Okay? They see you as beautiful, attractive. Um, they could see you um, with the Page of Wands. There's a lot of passion here. And um, they see you as excited to come towards them with the Page of Wands. They could also see you, like I said, a little bit immature. Page of Wands, you know, that's youth, a student. Or maybe you're just someone who's younger than them. And then you see them as a, a, a bright, a, a new day, a, a new a rebirth of disconnection uh, in a great way with the Ace of Pentacles. If you guys have been together for a while, it feels like it's a new love here because you got the lover's card up here with it. Um, this is a deep union. This is a twin flame card. So it could feel it could feel really powerful this connection. So you two see each other very well. There is love here. New beginnings. There's deep attraction and passion. And it looks like you guys might ha have a big fight. Things blow up. But it looks like you come back together right away after someone clears their head. Yeah, you waste no time coming back together. Because of all that passion there and all this love. And it's a great reconnection if you guys have um, been together for a while. Or this could be someone new coming towards you, Libra. Because the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wa and the Ace of Pentacles is about um, new love and new beginnings. So what a great reading for you coming up in June. Great reading. Now, if you're the type of Libras that say, oh, there's no love in my life, and I never experienced anything like that, then for you, it's a great, some type of great opportunity coming up for you. So if, it's not, if you know for sure you don't experience anything like a love, great love, you got some great opportunity coming up for you, Libra. So keep your eyes open. Yeah, keep your eyes open. So good reading. Good reading, good reading.